Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for another online yoga class. Um, this one is specifically aimed at those of us who are doing a lot of sitting at the moment. So whether that's working from home, um, doing a lot of driving, or maybe it's sitting in front of Netflix a lot, I'm definitely guilty of that at the moment. Um, this is really just going to try and undo a lot of that sitting. So when we're sitting down for a long time, a few things happen in our body. Our posterior chain, like the back of the body, uh, is working a lot less, so those muscles tend to get a little bit weaker. So we're going to be really working at finding some of those muscles, strengthening them. Uh, the hip flexors, they get tighter and shorter. So we'll see if we can find a little bit more length in the hip flexors and opening up that chest as i'm sure you're all aware when we spend a lot of time typing or driving we tend to round the shoulders a little bit so we're just going to be undoing a lot of those sorts of habitual patterns that we might find ourselves in at the moment so hopefully you will enjoy the class i'm going to try and keep it a little bit shorter than normal so that we can fit it into our day and yeah feel free to just keep coming back using it on days where you feel like you need um, to undo some of that. Good, so we'll just start um, seated, so find yourself in a comfortable seated position. Close the eyes, bring the awareness onto the breath. Good, start by making a slower inhalation through the nose and a slower exhalation through the nose. Good, keep it going, nice slow inhale, nice slow exhale, breathing into that belly, nice slow inhale, nice slow exhale, feel more rounds. Good, when you're ready, blink the eyes open, bring the hands behind you and just send the legs out wide. Good, take an inhale here and as you exhale, just drop the legs towards the right. Inhale back to centre, exhale towards the left. Inhale back to centre, exhale to the other side. Inhale back to centre, exhale to the left. Inhale, back to centre. Good, as you next drop the legs towards the right, take a moment, see if you can find a 90-90 with the legs. You may need to stay sitting back, um, leaning back into that arm, or maybe you can start sitting up, taking a few breaths here. If you're able to release the hands, bring them to the heart centre, and try and line that belly button up with the knee. Take a breath. Or two. Good, if you're sitting up, bring the hands back behind you, squat to the other side. Good, find that 90-90. Lean back, stay here if your hips are tight. If not, start sitting up, belly button towards left leg, hands can come to heart centre. Exhale, hands come back behind you, sit back down. And then from there, we're just going to come to the front of the mat and come and do a tabletop. So, spread the hands nice and wide, create space between the shoulders and the ears, move the front of the ribs towards the back of your t-shirt. Good, here can help to imagine that you've got a light shining in your heart centre and it shines towards the middle um, top of the mat, so you're not bowing on the chest just to do it down, you've got a bit of lift. Good, so we've got a nice stable plank pose. From there, just send the left leg long. Good, stretch back through that heel to start with, and then bring that awareness to that hamstring, and see if you can lift that leg from that hamstring. So the hamstring runs from the glutes to the back of the knee. Good, if you've got that nice and strong, you can walk the right hand forwards, maybe you lift the right hand up, and you breathe there. Good, keep pressing through that left leg, reaching through the right fingers, trying to keep that nice setup that we found in the tabletop. Last breath, exhale, release down. Same again, opposite side, the right leg extends. 
Take a moment to set up your plank poses, face between the shoulders and the ears, heart centre shining towards the top middle of the mat, front of the ribs lifting up. Good. Reach back through the heel and then from there lift up through the hamstring. Good. Breathing there. Maybe we walk the left hand forwards. Maybe if you're feeling nice and strong, you can lift up the left fingertips. So from there we're really reaching through the left hand and the right toes. Good. Try and keep that nice setup that we found in our tabletop. Releasing down, releasing that leg. Good, from then you just bring the knees slightly wide, send the weight back towards the heels, and take a child's pose. You're remembering that child's pose is available to you at any time during your yoga practice. You're always welcome to come here and take as long as you need. Try and keep that slow, steady breath. Nice, slow inhale. Nice, slow exhale. When you're ready, find your way to your first downward facing dog. So spread the hands nice and wide. Lift the hips. Send the front of the hip bones up and back as you spread the weight between the hands and the feet. Good. Relaxing the head and neck. Breathing there. It's our first down dog. So if you want to pedal out the feet a little bit, take any movements, that's fine. Good. From there, maybe you step the feet together. It can help with balance a little bit. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. Three-legged dog. Keep that slow, steady breath. Slow inhale. Slow exhale. Bending that right leg. Take a fire hydrant pose. So heel in towards the glutes, and then open up that hip. Keep the weight distributed equally between the hands. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, step that right foot in between the left hand and the left foot, and then step it all the way off the mat. Good. You can stay here and breathe in this variation of plank pose, or if you want to turn that left foot, reach up that right hand and take a side plank, you can. Exhale, release the hand down, step back. Good. If it felt good, keep, step the feet back together. Inhale, left leg lifts. Three-legged dog. Good. Bending that left knee. Open up that hip via hydrant pose. Keep the weight equal between the hands. As you exhale next, step that left foot all the way through in between the right hand and the right foot. You can stay there and breathe in the plank pose or you can press through the left hand, press through the left foot and reach up into the side plank. Exhale, drop that hand back down, step back, downward facing dog. Good. Exhale, look between the hands. Start walking the feet towards the front of the mat. Follow the inhalation into a halfway lift. Release the head and neck. Good, root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come through, heart center. Good, we are going to move through two low lunge sun salutations and then two lizard lunge sun salutations, so we'll see how they go. Inhale, reach up, rise to move towards the fingers. Exhale, bend the knees, into the hips, take a forward fold, release the head and neck. Inhale, halfway lift, press the chest forward, collarbones nice and forward. Exhale, hands come down, left foot steps back, drop that left knee. Inhale, reach the arms up, low lunge. Exhale, hands come down, step the foot back, plank pose. Take an inhalation here. Good, see, same setup as um, table top, shoulders away from the ears. Find that shining light into your heart centre to the middle, front middle of the mat. Front of the ribs lifted. Drop the knees, lower all the way down to the mat. See if you can do that nice and controlled. Walk the hands forwards off the mat. Good, reach through the fingers, reach through the toes. Inhale, low reaching up. 
Exhale, lower down. Hands in line with the chest, shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift that cobra. Exhale, down the facing dog. Good. Take a breath. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot in between the hands. Remember, it's okay, drop the knees, pick up that foot if you need to. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands come down, look forwards. Step the back foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Broaden the collarbones, press the chest forwards. Exhale, forward fold, release the head and neck. Root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come through, heart centre. Good, second side. Inhale, reach up, rise tall, look towards the fingers. Exhale, bend the knees, lift the hips, take the forward fold, release the head and neck. Inhale, halfway lift, press the chest forwards. Exhale, hands come down, right foot steps back, drop that knee, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, hands come down, frame that front foot, step back, front toes. Inhale, exhale, drop the knees, lower with control, all the way down to the mat. Hands come forwards, reach through the fingers, reach from the toes. Inhale, forward. Exhale, lower down. Hands in line with the middle. Roll the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift up cobra. Exhale, down facing dog. Good, take a breath. Inhale, right leg lifts, three legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot in between the hands, drop that left knee. Inhale, lift up low lunge. Exhale, hands come down, look forward, step the back foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, release the head and neck. Root down, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands come through, heart centre. Good. Lizard lunges. So, those of you familiar with lizard lunge, um, take the feet out wide. So, we're starting with our feet as wide as the mat toes can point out slightly if it feels more comfortable. Inhale, reach up, rise to look up to the fingers. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge in the hips, take a forward fold, release the head and neck. Inhale, look up, lengthen, halfway lift, press the chest forwards. Exhale, hands come down, step the left foot all the way back, drop that left knee, hands come in line with the right foot. Good. Breathe here in your lift. Good. From your lizard pose, if you want to take it a little bit further, opening up that chest, roll onto the outer edge of that right foot, pick up that right hand, press the leg away as you open up that chest, so really pull that heart centre forwards. Breathing there, engage the glutes a little bit. Good, so you've got two options made so far, take the one you want, or you can bend that left leg, Reach behind you and see if you can keep opening up that chest. But do you keep that core zipped up so scoop that navel in and up? Exhale, releasing down. Step back, plank pose. Inhale, hip. Exhale, drop the knees, lower with control all the way down to the mat. Hands come forward. Reach through the fingers, reach through the toes. Inhale, full locus. Exhale, lower down. Hands in line with the chest. Shoulders back and down. Inhale, open. Exhale, down the facing dog. Breathing now. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog. Exhale, left foot outside of left hand. Ready for the lizard. Good. Drop that right knee. If it's comfortable, you can fold over the mat and leave a little more padding. Roll onto the outer edge of that left foot. Pick up that left hand, place it onto the left knee, and open up that chest. Keep the core zipped up there. Press that chest forwards, breathe there. Or if it felt comfortable for you, you can bend that right knee, reach behind you, and keep opening up that chest. Good. Breathing there. 
And exhale, releasing down, looking forwards, lift the hips, step the right foot on the outside of the right hand, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, yogi squat, as low as you can go, doesn't matter if the heels stay up a little bit, good, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands to hips, inhale, reach all the way up to standing. Good, keep the legs where they are. We're going to say again, opposite side first. Inhale, reach up, rise tall. Exhale, bend the knees, into the hips. Take a forward fold, release the head and neck. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, step the right foot as far back as you can. Drop that right knee, lizard lunge. Stay there and breathe. Maybe you roll into the outside of the left foot. Maybe the left hand and the left foot meet as you press through and open up that chest. Core stays strong, right hand stays strong. If it feels comfortable, bend that right leg and reach back, press the chest forward. Breathing now. Exhale, releasing that hand down, step the left foot back, plank pose. Take a pause, set up the pose, shoulders away from the ears, heart going to shine towards the top middle of the mat. Front of the ribs lifted, drop the knees, lower with control all the way down to the mat. Hands come forward, reach through the fingers, reach through the toes. Inhale, lift up locus. Exhale, lower down. Hands in line with the midline, shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift up cobra. Exhale, down facing dog. Good, take a pause. Inhale, right leg lifts, three legged dog. Exhale, right foot on the outside of the right hand. Drop that left knee, breathing your lift. Good, if you want to roll onto the outer edge of that right foot, that's fine. Maybe you bring the right hand to the right knee and open up that chest. So really draw the shoulders back and press the heart center forwards. If it's comfortable, bend that left knee, reach back, take a bind. Keep that left hand nice and strong though. Glutes slightly engaged. Core zips up. Exhale, reaching down. Inhale, lift the hips. Step the left foot towards the outer edge of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take a yogi squat so you can turn the heels in slightly. Sit down as low as you can go. Doesn't matter if the heels lift up. Good. Inhale back to halfway lift. Adjust the heels. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, reach all the way up to standing. Exhale, release the hands. Good. From there, I'm just going to come into a little standing balance once again just to try and release. Um, first of all, we're going to do some chair poses. <laughs> So from there, you can bring the toes together or slightly wide if you want. Bend the knees. Um, knees and ankles follow the same line. So if your feet are out wide, don't let the knees collapse in together. So just knees and ankles follow the same line. Core stays at the back. Knees press towards the back of the mat. Hands reach up alongside your ears. Good. Take a nice strong chair pose. So bend the knees. Drop the chest. Good, so you're sitting nice and low, and then pick up the front of the chest. Good, probably found the uh, core there. A few more breaths. And come hands come to heart centre. Good, we're going to move through some skater variations here. So you start rounding down through the right foot. Maybe you lift the left leg up. Maybe that's enough for you for your balance. Or maybe you step the left leg out wide, toe to touch just the foot. Good, inhale, exhale back to centre. Ground down through that left leg, lift up the right foot, maybe that's enough, maybe you can send it out wide. Take a breath, exhale back to centre. Inhale here, left leg extends, maybe this time you hover the foot, back to centre. Inhale here, right leg extends, maybe you hover the foot. Exhale back to centre. Last round, inhale here, left foot extends, maybe you hover the foot. Exhale back to centre. Inhale here. Right foot extends, maybe hover the toes. Exhale back to centre. 
Good. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, release. The hands down. Good. From there, round down the, through the right foot. So you can pick up the toes, spread them nice and wide. Think about lifting up that inner arch of the right foot. Right hand on the right hip. And then from there, just start bending that left knee so that the heel comes in towards the glutes. And stay there for a few breaths, really using that hamstring to do the work of pulling that leg in first. Good. And then take hold of that foot. Try and keep the knees in line with each other. Try and keep that core zipped up. If you let the core go, you're probably not getting into that area where you're trying to target. So keep the core zipped up. Really lengthen that. Good. Breathing that. Come to a wall if you need to. And then finding a little bit more strength in the hamstring again. We'll slowly start peeling one finger away after the other until you've let go of the foot and you're holding it there with that hamstring strength. Good. And then when you're ready, draw that left knee in towards your chest. Give it a hug. Drop it down. Good. Spread the toes of the left foot nice and wide. Lift up that inner arch. Same again, opposite leg. So right leg, lift, hands can come onto hip. Draw the heel in towards the glutes, so really feeling that hamstring. Really important part of the posterior chain, starting to fire, and then maybe reach the right hand back, grab hold of the foot. Try and keep the knees in line so the knees are open and out wide. Just see if you can get there. Zip up that core, remember, really important. Find a lot of length there to get into the psoas and the hip flexors. Good, breathing that. You can't find that stretch there, try so tucking the um, tailbone down, you might find a little bit more. Take it to the wall if you need to. Good, when you're ready, slowly start taking one finger away at a time until your hamstring contracts and you can hold that leg there with your strength. Good, draw that right leg in towards your chest, give yourself a hug, draw that leg down. Good. From that, we're going to move through a couple of um, warrior threes with the breath, just firing up those glutes a little bit more. So first thing, roll the shoulders out. You can imagine that you're carrying twos or heavy weights or something in your hands, but your arms are nice and strong. So just keep that feeling of heavy weights. Good. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, step it back, warrior three. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, step the back, warrior three. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, warrior three. Last one. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, warrior three. Hold it there. Step back. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, reach the hands forward, take an hour lunge. Ground down through that left leg, can you step back? Warrior three with the arms extending. Exhale, bring that knee towards the chest. Exhale, back down. Probably found your glutes there. Same again, opposite side. So, right foot, plant it down, nice and strong. Imagine you're holding those weights in your hands and your shoulders are drawing back and down. Good, left leg lifts up, inhale here, exhale, warrior three. Inhale, lifting up, knee comes up, exhale, warrior three. Inhale, lifting up, knee comes up, exhale, warrior three. Inhale, lifting up, knee comes up, exhale, warrior three. Take it to a ball if you need to, remember. Inhale, lifting up, exhale, warrior three. Last one, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, warrior three, hold it for a breath. Step that foot back, inhale, reach the arms up. High lunge. Exhale to arrow lunge, take a breath. Round down through that right leg, reach the hands forward. Inhale, reach back, warrior three, with the arms extended. Keep the arms where they are as you reach up, knee comes into chest. Exhale, releasing down, release the arms as well. Good. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, practice the arms. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, practice. Last one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, practice the arms. Good. From there, we're going to come into a down dog. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, take a forward fold. Good. Stay there for a breath. Really activate the pose. Press the feet into the mat. Engage the glutes as you lift up from the front of the hips. Release the head and neck. Good. Inhale with the hands up the legs. Halfway lift. Broaden the collarbones. Exhale. Hands come down. Step back. Downward facing dog. Good. Press through the hands. Press through the feet. Front of the hip bones up and back. Head and neck releases. Take a pause. Take your breath. Good. From there, we're just going to come into a few more balanced poses. Really trying to see if we can unravel some of that, um, some of that habitual patterns we might have found ourselves in. So you step the right foot halfway between the hands and the feet. Good. Pull up onto the fingertips. Left hand can come onto the left hip. Start lifting up that left leg, toes face down, and then start turning those toes to face the wall on the left hand side as you find yourself in a half moon. Good, in half moon, we really want to be opening up that chest. So if your chest is pointing down and your hands are reaching up, just drop that hand onto the hip and lift the chest. Good, press through the extended left foot. If it's comfortable, reach the left arm up. Good. And if you want to take it into a little bit more of an unraveling of the, um, the chest, bend that left leg. See if you can take the inner um, part of the left foot in your hand and then press that foot into that hand as you take it. Should it came close. Good. Breathing here. Or the half moon, if that's where your body's at today. Last breath. Exhale, release the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Good. We are going to do the same again, but on our knees. So drop both knees down to the mat, tabletop pose. If you wanted a bit of extra padding for the knees, fold them out over. Good. Left leg extends. Lift up that left leg, just like we did at the start of the practice. But then start opening up that hip, so the hips are stacking. Left hand onto the hip. Good. You can walk the right hand a little bit further forwards if you need to. Press through that right hand. Open up as you take a half moon, but on your knees. Extending that left hand up. Or if it's comfortable, reach behind you. Take that foot. Press the foot into the hands. And breathe that. Good. Keep pressing that foot. And pressing the right hand into the mat. Good. Last few breaths. Exhale, releasing down. Down dog or child pose for a couple of breaths. And then we'll do the left side. Good, so if you're in child's pose, start finding your way to down dog. Step the left foot halfway forwards. The inhale, come up onto the fingers. Start lifting up that right foot. Good. Right hand can come onto the hip as you start turning those toes towards the wall on the right. Good. Try not to open up that chest. Keep the hand on the hip if you can't get that chest nice and open or extend that hand if you can. Half moon. If that's feeling comfortable and you want to take it into a sugar cane, bend that right leg. Take the inner side of the foot with the hand if you can. Press that foot into the hand as you open. Good, breathing there. The complete opposite to what we've been doing all day. We've been doing a lot of sitting, so it probably feels quite good. Will be a challenge. Good, release that foot, release the hand, step back down. Good, drop the knees. Send that right leg back. Good, 
Stabilise your tabletop. Lift that right leg. If it felt good, just take the left hand a little bit further forward. Please do. Um, right hand onto the hips. You start stacking those hips as you turn the toes towards the right wall. Maybe you extend that hand up and you can find that length and opening in the chest. Or maybe you can bend that foot, take hold of the inner foot and press the foot into the hand as you press the left hand into the mat. Good, breathing back. Last breath. Exhale, release them down. Take the child's pose. Good, you can take the knees a little bit out wide. You can walk the hands forward or if it feels better to have them alongside your body, take that variation. Take a moment, it's always um, after the challenge and poses that we can sometimes lose the breath. So just see if you can find the slow inhale, slow exhale, slow inhale, slow exhale. Good. When you're ready, start walking the hands towards the knees. Swivel yourself around. Legs come out in front of you. Good. Ready for our boat pose. So we've spent a bit of time uh, opening up some of those hip flexors today. So this really strengthens them as, as well, which is really important. So roll the shoulders back and down. Scoop that navel in and up. Take a boat pose. So remember, if you need to just alternate lifting the legs, that's fine. You're working really hard. Or maybe you can lift the legs. Maybe you can lift the hands. Breathe wherever you are. Maybe you can extend the legs. Exhale, releasing down out of the pose. Soles of the feet together. Press the feet in towards each other. Hands come onto the shins. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take a fold with a nice flat back. Good. Inhale, lifting back up, bring the knees back in. Take your second boat pose. Good. This time, doesn't matter if the, hand, the feet stay on the mat, you can still do the pose that way. Take an inhale in boat pose, and as you exhale, lower down. Take a low boat, the hands can come behind the head. And then exhale, lower all the way down. Onto the mat. Bring the heels in towards the sit bones. So roughly stack the feet under the knees. Drive the elbows into the mat, fingertips up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift the hips, take a bridge pose. Good. Another really fundamental pose for strengthening the posterior chain, which might got a little bit weaker if we've been sitting down a lot, but it's really easy to counteract bridge pose. So just take a few breaths here. Keep pressing the feet, pressing the forearms and leading from the hips. Exhale, lower down. Good. Extend the left leg on the mat, right leg up towards the ceiling. Maybe you interlace the hands behind the right leg, not behind the right knee. And just stay there for a few breaths. Maybe you release the hand, send them out wide, and you can keep that leg straight or bend it as you take that leg over to the left, look towards the right. If it feels more comfortable, just bend that leg. Gentle twist. Inhale back to centre. Maybe you hug that right knee in towards your chest and then swap it for the left leg. So right leg extends, left leg goes up towards the ceiling, flex both feet. You can interlace the hands behind that left leg, not behind that left knee. And breathe there for a few breaths, just one little bit more length in those hamstrings. Good, release the hands out wide, bend or keep that leg straight. 
as you take it over to the right. Good. Look to the left. Gentle twist. Stay for a few breaths. Inhale back to centre, hug that knee in towards the chest. Good. Maybe the right leg joins you as well. So you gently rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, we'll take our Savasana. If you prefer to take this as a seated meditation, feel free. Um, and if you've got a little bit more time in the video, feel free just to press pause and take a longer Savasana. If you're with me, place the feet on the mat and let the knees roll in or extend the legs and let the feet roll out. Palms face the ceiling. If you need to just tuck the shoulder blades in together to create that extra space for that, that's fine. Maybe you lift up the head, tuck the chin, and lower back down. Good. And just letting everything go. Relaxing as deeply as possible. Start with the upper fingers, go down the toes. Reach the arms up overhead, give yourself a really nice stretch at the tips of the fingers, the tips of the toes. Roll over to the right side, make a pillow with your arms, press your head on, and then press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Keep the eyes closed, it's always nice to arrive softly. Bring the hands to heart centre, bow the head, take a moment, practice gratitude. Anything you may wish to be grateful for. Rub the hands together, create some lovely warmth between the hands. Place that warmth over the eyes, take a pause, blink the eyes open. And slowly start moving the hands up to heart centre. Namaste, thank you all for practicing with me today. Hopefully you enjoyed the class.